This one's gonna be on GeoTrash. It is a alternative to the Trash CLI command, and you'll probably want to use this because I believe it's installed by default. Um, so instead of installing like Trash CLI, you can actually just use this, you know, out of the box, right? Anyways, um, this is the command right here. Well, I'm giving you the man page here. Geo. All right. It has other things in here. But um, we're gonna focus on like just the trash portion, right? Um, but if you ever like use, you know, like a GUI file manager like Nautilus, Dolphin, whatever it is, they usually have a way to list stuff out, mount stuff, you know, create files and, and so on and so forth. Basically, this is what the command version of, you know, what those features are. Um, like if you're mounting your Samba shares and stuff like that, you can actually do it with this. However, today we're just going to talk about just the, um, you know, the trash portion of it here. Anywho, so how do we do this here? Uh, if you want to get help for it, you can do, you know, geo help, right? And if you want to get like, you know, subcategories into these other commands, you can do like geo help trash, which is what we want here. And it'll give you us, you know, more options here, right? Anyways, how does this work? Uh, real simple. We only have a couple of them here. All right, force empty list restore. Okay, and how to trash stuff. Okay, so right now we're in our demo folder. We got a bunch of files, and if I want to trash something, I do geo trash, and then you know input my files in here like playlist. I want to do um, let's say this RSS feed uh, PNG, right? And let's say um, my radio PNG here. So now we did that. Uh, it sends it to the trash can. It actually didn't delete it yet. So if you ever use the GUI, you know how you go delete some stuff. It's actually in your trash, you know, can um, directory, I guess. And you can go in there and restore it. So that's what we can do here. So if you want to list this out, I do geo trash uh, dash dash list right and you see it lists is um, was that three of them here right and the, the way they do this is that they have um, the first column is like your you know your file name second column is where uh, it was located once you deleted it or sent it to the trash I mean and so if you restore it, it goes back to where it was. So that's why they have the uh, directory on the second column here. And if I delete some other ones, let's see here. Let's go to a different folder. Let's go to my junk folder. And if I delete some of these, geo trash, and we'll do downloads. We'll do this go PNG. Yeah, let's do uh, okay, Vita, whatever, right? So now we list it again. Where's our list? Right now we have more files, like six files in here, and you see it has different um, um, you know, different folders, right? One of them is you know, f a few of them are in the junk folder, and the other one's a demo folder. So that's how that works. Um, if you want to do that. Now, if I want to um, restore it, real simple, I do um, a geo trash dash dash restore. Uh, yeah, restore. And uh, which one do you want to restore? Um, real simple, if I want to do, uh, let's say this junk uh, folder, I can restore this um, go PNG, right? So now I can space it, and I should have that file back, and I do see that. This is the file, right? That we uh, restore, and that's how you would manually do it. Now, if I want to empty, uh, the, um, you know, the other ones see here, there's like um, five of them here. If I want to empty them, real simple, I just do geo trash. And I do dash 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 empty. And now you see that it's uh, no more, right? 
Um, so that's how that works if you want to do it, uh, you know, manually. What other ones we're going to do? Okay, so if, um, you know, you bind this to your, um, uh, your terminal file manager, right? Uh, you can bind to hotkeys and stuff like that with those um, commands. And so if I want to, let's say, because right now we have nothing in our list, right? So if I want to, um, you know, delete all this, and over here, delete all this, and now we're listed out again, uh, you see that this is our files. It looks kind of messed up, but let me, um, let me clean it up a little bit here. Column dash T, and we'll do um, separator by um, tab here. And this one should look nicer here. Right. So those are our files. And and now you know you can actually um, use like FCF to manage this and then like restore it really quick. So that's what we're gonna do with FCF. I already have my one liner, so I don't wanna you know waste time explaining it here. But um, this is the one liner. And real simple, if I want to restore any of those stuff, I just use like a, a menu. Kind of like what the, what Trash CLI does, right? They have like a menu and then you input the numbers. Well, in this case, we're just using uh, FCF as our um, <coughs> our menu. And you can search in here too if you like, uh, which is I probably is even better than um, Trash CLI because that thing you can't really search. But let's say if I want to search uh, Fiddy or I wanna, you know, the go uh, PNG, right? I hit that, and look at that, it will restore it. Um, there you go. So let's say if I wanna restore everything in my uh, junk folder, right? I just uh, search junk, and I'll select all of them using Control A, and hit Enter, and it should pop up on my um, terminal file manager here, Ranger. So, you know, that's how it'll work. Um, what's the commands for this? Let me show you here. So in here, do you have that already? No, there we go. Oops, that's the wrong one. Do that again here. So in here, you can see that uh, my controls, right, we have this portion here where I can do Control A to select all, Control D to deselect all, and Control T is to toggle. AK like do like inverted selection um, and then you can do the regular stuff like uh, tab for um, multiple selections with the dash M flag right but anyways that's it that's like the one liner that we're gonna do here right um, and you know whenever you run this you can see that they have the names and um, you know whenever you select it and you can do a fuzzy matching too if you like so like I say it's like probably even better than the trash CLI because that thing you have to hit numbers and you have to do ranges and stuff like that this thing you just like filter it out using FCF right and you know selection you know tab control A to do all of them or control D to deselect or you can do tab 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 and then i say oh you know what i want to invert that I hit control t i'll do inversion and then um you know hit enter and then it'll restore it right so that's pretty much how that works so let's say if i delete all this delete all this and you can see if i do the restore um again it'll come up again i do control a boom everything is back to normal right um and they do have this other one. Let me see here. What was that one? Uh, let's go back to help here. Now the help one. Uh, I mean the the one with the force one is that if if the file already exists, uh, then you can't restore it. Um, so you know if you delete it and then you make another one with the same name, or whatever, in the same location, then you won't be able to restore it unless you use force. But I probably don't recommend you use the the force um, flag if you don't. You know, you don't want to overwrite anything, right? 
anyways, that's pretty much it for the Geo Trash Command. Um, I probably would recommend you use this. I mean, I've been using this for a long time, but recently they have the restore feature because in the past they didn't have this one and that's why I didn't really use it. I would have to use Trash CLI because they have a restore feature in there. But now that they have the restore, um, you can use this like as a replacement for Trash CLI because I believe it's installed by default on you know all your major distributions. Let me see what's only by. It's only by. Uh, let's see what what's only by here. It's only by glib2, and what is that one? I don't even know what the hell that is. Why does my computer take so long? Oh, I have other programs open. Do it again, man. Glib2, okay, there we go. So, you know, this one's by the GNOME project. And, you know, it's required by a lot of programs. So if you install one of those programs, I'm pretty sure you have this, uh, you know, in there already, right? Let's see what you got. Player CTL, if you have that installed, okay, you have Pipewire installed. If you have SSHFS, you know, pretty much if you have one of those programs installed, um, you already have this program, so I might as well call this one like a default, right? Anyways, it's, uh, it's required by a lot of programs, and so you can use this because I'm pretty sure it's already installed by default. Anyways, that's GeoTrash. Um, you can use this command you know, on Geo to do other stuff, like I said, like mounting. Basically, almost anything that you do in your GUI file manager, you can do in the terminal. That's it for this one.